Are you ready for more Downtown Abbey? Season 7 is on the way and fans can't wait to see what's in store for the Crawley family and their servants. Whether it's a film or a TV season, Downtown Abbey never fails to deliver captivating drama and charming moments. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your thoughts on the new season below. Let's celebrate the next chapter in the Crawley saga. Downtown Abbey is one of the most acclaimed British shows ever, with a record number of Emmy nominations and a huge fan base. After eight years of absence, the beloved series is coming back with a bang. Carnival Films is casting new actors for this exciting project. But can they live up to the expectations set by the previous seasons? The stakes are high for more intrigue, scandal, and upstairs-downstairs action at Downtown Abbey. Some of the original stars have moved on to other ventures, but others are keen to return. Hugh Bonneville, who played Lord Grantham, doubted the need for a third movie, saying that Downtown Abbey's world has been fully explored. But Penelope Wilton and other cast members are eager for more. Julian Fellows as the creator is open to making more movies if the fans want them. Will season 7 be the end or the beginning of a new era for Downtown Abbey? One thing is certain, Maggie Smith will not reprise her role as the Dowager Countess, adding a touch of nostalgia to the new season. Maybe we'll see some flashbacks of her witty remarks and wise advice. As for the other cast members, we can expect to see familiar faces like Elizabeth McGovern's Cora and Michelle Dockery's Lady Mary Talbot, continuing the family legacy. Laura Carmichael's Lady Edith and other relatives could also join them. Some characters, however, might have adventures in America, as suggested by the plot of the second movie. What about the story? Season 7 might show the Crawley family facing the challenges of modernity and the looming threat of World War I. This time, the war could affect them more personally, as they risk losing their loved ones and their estate. The romantic subplots, a hallmark of the series, might take a back seat, with more focus on realistic storylines. The show's influence on British society is remarkable, as it sparked debates on gender equality in inheritance laws, leading to the terms Downton Law and Downton Abbey Law. But the show also has its critics, who point out the unrealistic and romanticized portrayal of class relations. If Downton Abbey had shown the true story, the Earl of Grantham and his family might have been seen as oppressors, and the servants as their victims. The new season could be a chance to break away from these stereotypes and explore more authentic narratives. Season 7 might also bring some changes, possibly focusing on the younger generation of characters. Set photos hint at the presence of the Crawley children, who could challenge the traditional norms. As we wait for the return of Downton Abbey, we can be sure that this new season will offer both familiarity and freshness. In a shocking twist that left me and many other viewers stunned and outraged, Matthew Crawley died in season 3 of Downton Abbey, changing the course of the show. Dan Stevens, who played him, left the show at its peak, leaving fans puzzled about his reasons. As a viewer, I was very invested in the relationship between Matthew Crawley and Lady Mary, and how they went from enemies to lovers. 